Okay, everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the shop. Sorry, I got a bit of bed head, but you know, if I look presentable, you guys would think that you were at the wrong channel. So what I'm here today to do in the shop is install this sound bar. I think I'm going to install it on the Yamaha because uh, it makes the most sense. It's the easiest to install on the Yamaha. I mean, you can install this thing no problem. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys what's in the box. I'm going to show you how to install it and I'm going to show you how it works. Okay, guys, so let's get this thing out of the box here. Let's uh, let's start showing you what all is in here. So uh, you start here with the power cord and uh, it looks like a, a really universal type plug. I've seen these before. It comes with a cord and it comes with an inline fuse and uh, it also comes with a spare fuse. So over here you have your your um, your hex bolts and your spare fuse and it also comes with a uh, remote control. And it even comes with a Allen wrench. So way down in here, this is the clamp that they supply to clamp onto a roll bar. Now, uh, if you have, if you're installing this on just a regular ATV that doesn't have a roll bar, you're going to have to get creative. And that's not a problem to most ATVers. We're used to making modifications anyway. But this is a... Uh, this is a really nice, well-built clamp. Like that's uh, that's really nice. Aluminum has the Kemimoto, has the Kemimoto uh, emblem there. It looks pretty good. So that comes with it, and it looks like there's some rubber pieces here that you would put inside this to uh, keep from scratching up your your roll bar. All right, so literature, product manual, soundbar, audio system. This is Mint. Problem. Okay, so one of the problems that I found here in this directory is if you look up for the installation, Uh, minute, quick installation. So if you want to surface mount it, which you would want to do on an ATV, um, it says the instructions are on page seven. But if you go to page seven, um, they forgot to put that part in there. They show the uh, tube install hanging. They show the tube install standing. You turn to page seven and it skips the part about surface mounting and goes right to the playback part. I talked to Kemimoto about this. Um, they're going to look into that. Um, but I am going to proceed with my video here and uh, show you guys what all is in the box. So uh, let me tell you. This thing has some weight to it. This thing is very heavy. <laughs> I don't know what it weighs, but it's probably, I don't know, six, eight pounds. I'm not too sure. I guess it might say on the packing slip, but uh, yeah. So here's your modes. Uh, you got your on and off, uh, your LED lights, forward, backwards, play, pause, volume up, volume down. You got your party mode. And then you got your source. So you can put a, uh, you can run Bluetooth, you can run USB. And what else can you run in here? Oh, an auxiliary in. So you also have auxiliary in, auxiliary out. You have, this is for your, a USB. And this is for your power. DC out, 
DC in. Pretty cool. LED strip. LED strip. These are LED. And there's also some LEDs in here lighting up the uh, speakers. So it's quite the uh, it's quite the unit. Um, Kemimoto sent this to me, and uh, I didn't pay a dime for it. They sent it to me. They want to be a sponsor of the channel, or at least this video. And I was pretty excited because Kemimoto has an awful lot of uh, um, a lot of gear for ATVs, motorcycles, like um, heated vests, gloves, and I do need a pair of gloves for my motorcycle. So hopefully I can do some future collabs with them. But right now we are going to deal with this. So first problem that I have is I cannot use this clamp because I, oops, I'm making a mess, because I do not have a roll bar. But if you flip this thing upside down <laughs> for the surface mount, there is three holes here. These holes are threaded and the supplied screws come with the unit and they will screw in here. So what I did is I took a piece of flat bar and I measured out those holes and I offset the hole so they didn't cover the uh, LED light and I'm going to sandwich the front rack of the Yamaha into uh or in between this plate and the stereo so let's go ahead and start the install okay so what my plan is is to take this and i'm going to put it under that put it under the rack and then I'm going to bolt that down just like that, center it up, tighten it up, and then we'll go and do the wiring. So you can see a little bit better here how I made this bracket. <clears throat> it's just offset. So since I need a little bit more room because my bolts aren't long enough, I got... Uh, a little washer and a nut. Put it in there. We'll start that. We'll just start it. A couple of threads. And then we will get her over here. All right, so we'll grab another bolt, a washer, and a nut, and we'll line this up, and we'll make sure that we don't have that one too tight, and to center it up, find the holio, and then using the supplied Allen wrench, just snug them up. Make sure you get her centered where you want it. I'm going off of these little brackets here. That looks pretty good right there. We'll snug these up. All right, so that's tight. It's tight enough I got that little bar bent. Okay, so this is a 2021 Yamaha Grizzly. And if you remove this plastic sheet, it just pulls and removes. It's really easy. Here's your battery here, which is kind of cool because the battery's up front. can am the battery's under the seat. So here's your wire. So I think what I'm gonna do, since the battery's here and the speakers are here, I'm just gonna run this straight through into this front vent here. I'm gonna feed it right through here. Put this little plug back on, 
so it's got a little weather cap so if you don't want to uh if you want to remove it for any reason maybe put it on another machine and you already have a plug that'll work then you can uh, keep the weather out of that so there it is right there and it's just got to plug into there well, that's mint all right so you're going to need a star screwdriver and always uh start with your negative all right so the negative will be the wire with the black so loosen off your your battery tighten up your ground be careful not to uh, arc anything out when you're doing this which is kind of a given here if you're uh and I'm going to send that right underneath that battery hold down. Curve that around like so. And then crank this down tight. All right. So now we just got to plug it in. So you'll want DC power in. Pull that plug. Unplug that and plug her in all right i'm going to pull that out to get the battery activated on the uh remote there. Hemi motor, Bluetooth mode. sweet look at that all right led lights That's kind of cool. All right. So I got some music picked out here from YouTube library so I don't get copyright. So let's play this one. Okay, so I got the Kemimoto Midnight 40 soundbar installed on the 21 Yamaha Grizzly. And I took it out for a ride, and it sounds good. Like, of course, you can't hear it when you're ripping down the road, especially if you got an exhaust tip or aftermarket exhaust. But going through the bush, you can hear it plain as day. It's pretty loud. Now, of course, it's daylight out, and... <laughs> I haven't been able to try out the lights, but that'll come later on. Kemimoto states that uh, it's dust proof and water resistant. So I would hope so if you're gonna mount it on a, uh, on a UTV or an ATV. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go rip around with this thing and try it out. It was kind of cool. I'm usually not one for listening to music when I'm ripping, but um, I do roll the lawn. But anyways, yeah, I'm going to try this thing out, give it a good whirl. I'm going to get some footage for you at night. Um, check out the lights that are pretty cool. There's lots of different settings for the lights. Um, you can have them strobe to the music or you can pick different colors. Um, there's a remote control that comes with it. There's also a QR code on the back that you can scan and you can operate everything from your smartphone um yeah it's a it's a really neat unit so uh yeah i really like this thing it's uh it is beefy and the way i got her installed on there she is on there it doesn't even shake going down the road um if i had a larger bar on my rack i could definitely use the clamp that they provided but since i don't i just came up with my own way of doing it so so if you're interested in purchasing one of these for your UTV or your ATV, 
Um, you can check out the link below. Um, I'm not sure if there is uh, going to be a Kemimoto discount. Um, I don't really remember what my agreement was with them, but uh, there'll definitely be a link to the product below. And if there's a product discount code, well, it'll be in the description below as well. So let's give this thing a try. Well guys, I think that was a pretty good test. I think we gave it a pretty good fair test for off-roading. Got her good and wet, got it dirty, it's still rocking and rolling, the lights are still sh flickering and flashing. And uh, now I just want to, uh, the sun's starting to set, I'm just going to take you guys for a ride back to the bush and uh it'll be a little bit darker back there and i'll be able to show you some of the lights and then maybe a quick rip up and down the road with the 360 and uh that'll conclude here's the remote i think we'll just put the lights on demo <laughs> So I just got the lights on demo. I'm not gonna bother playing any music because of copyright stuff. Yes, sir. That thing is, uh, it's pretty cool.
Hayamimoto.